Okay, so wow, it's a very good sunset. Um, how do I look? Oh my gosh, I look tired. But anyway, okay, how can I begin my vlog? Um, I really like looking at the clouds right now. It's so relaxing. Wow, the movement of the clouds. I really feel good that I can just savor everything that, you know, beauty is around. So, okay, um, what I just want to share probably is I'm trying to examine my spirit on how I'm going to share what I feel like desiring to share. I mean, what I can speak in my heart. So, okay, first, um, I'm, I'm thinking about... Um, I, I have this I have this experience that I think it's okay to share I am um, I really hope that I can be not wasting a time of a person who's watching my video <laughs> because it's really essential that I have to be sharing what is essential important and of course what can comfort somebody in my means of using my voice to comfort so okay I think the best thing that I can share is um, probably music I think music so okay um, with with the spirituality that I experience um, I would like to share something um, there's something very beautiful that I am experiencing with my walk of faith as I as I am discovering my innate uh, talent when it comes to songwriting and singing because I think um, it's really very important to honor the gift that God gives because I believe that every every musician and songwriter are very important to nurture the listeners when it comes to people like for example when i would uh, understand by my heart what people are doing with their music uh, like for example i would say my favorite singer mariah carey uh, she she speaks to my heart that i can cry and get emotional with her songs because um I really can relate and I really feel good and it's really healthy for me that I consider musicians and singers as um, therapists or doctors because they really heal the soul so it's really important when it comes to healing that music is really presented to people in such a way that uh, people are being comforted that's why it's really a good idea that when there are places that has to do with attending to the sick, I think it would be a good idea that people will have some speakers and uh, music background playing, especially when it comes to worship songs. Because for me, with my experiences, as I am growing with my songwriting skills, I have I have realized that it really is very true that when a person sings it really comes from the heart it really does come from the heart because for me as I experience I have been singing a words that just comes from my mouth when I listen to instrumental music that I find online I would sing along I would I would uh, make words come out from my lips in however I express my emotions my feelings however I understand life and then I would get surprised that what I am singing is really something that I enjoy that I would realize that I wish I was recording myself because there were words that I was saying that it's not memorized it's just an instantaneous um, singing that comes from my lips that I just uh, sing from my heart so I really surprised myself that wow what did what did um, the words that I was saying or singing about and then I would just understand okay I was flowing in my spirit that's why it's really it's really true that I really I really enjoy the gift of songs and music because it really heals the soul because for me like for example um, when it comes to the walk of faith um, 
there is something that has to do with uh, do not gratify the cravings of your flesh but rather walk in the spirit so you can avoid sin so when I understand that everyone is struggling when it comes to flesh because we can really have some uh, desires to satisfy our physical experience so when I understand that point it is really highly relatable that everyone experience such struggle because of experiencing the physical body that we have that is one with our spirit that cannot be separated but um but then the wonders of it uh, when you honor the beauty of how god really desires a physical experience also it would also seem to be uh, true that what you feel as you experience physically can really affect your spirit so for me when when i am when i am growing to understand musicality artistry how it is to be a songwriter how it is to express my heart through music i can really i can really say that it really helps me so much when i would express myself with the joy of my physical experience that i get highly satisfied with my physical experience because of how my spirit is very highly elated that um sometimes it can get to the point that it is so euphoric that it's like my emotions are very highly elated I'm full of happiness, joy, and um, I really understand that God can be a really heard in the presence of music. It's really good to really understand and to experience God's presence in music, especially that, wow, it's so really beautiful that, like, like as I recall with what I was saying earlier, that um, avoid gratifying the flesh when you walk in the spirit so you avoid sin because flesh leads to um, death but you know when, when you sin it can only lead to death but when you walk in the spirit it is just true and understandable that people can really fall to sin because it's natural for a man or a woman but the striving and the perseverance to really walk in holiness is what an agreement that is between you and God because he knows you he knows you so much so God God knows us more than we know ourselves so it's just good that when you when you really accept being human and then it is really inevitable that you desire for the divine power of God for forgiveness because it's so beautiful when a person would really ask for forgiveness become very humble and really accept human frailty because it's really honoring God because you you really understand that God is the one who corrects everyone because a person who is wise is a person who would really choose to be corrected and instructed not to just trust oneself but lean on God not to lean on, on understanding alone but trust the Lord with all of your heart so it's really beautiful agreement between you and God that you know when you when you ask for forgiveness from God he's always willing not to refuse to give you forgiveness because you know God's mercy is always there he just longs to be to people be able to come to him because God longs for that God really longs for that he he longs for people to receive his word people to accept their fault and become humble to ask for forgiveness because that is the heart of the Lord because it's very beautiful when as I was saying when it comes to my growth in music I, I really feel so good so good literally because um, I really experience how the Holy Spirit um, makes me feel his presence and I really understand so much that I'm I'm very in love with the Lord because I'm in love with myself I learned to love myself so much because I feel so accepted so forgiven so loved the moment that I really understood in my senses that 
the Spirit of the Lord is really residing in us because we are the temple of the Holy Spirit and there's always the longing of a human soul to seek in awe about the majestic countenance of God because it's really natural for the soul to really long for God and that's really beautiful because when you when you draw yourself to the Lord and when you when you try your best to pray and read the Holy Bible and um, uh, read the words of the Lord about how much He wants to lavish His love for us, you would really recognize that, wow, you are very loved, you are very accepted, you are very, uh, you are very um, called as beloved, as a child of God. So when I really feel the oneness with the Holy Spirit, I really notice myself that I become very, uh, I, I can say it's wild, it's wild love because the feeling that I feel for the Lord is really wild. It's not literally that I am disrespectful to honor the Lord, but it is a wildness in me that I am a radical lover, that I love the Lord so much that when I really want to claim the Holy Spirit's presence in me. I would sing like as if God is speaking through me, like as if the Holy Spirit is singing through me. It's like I would sing something like, um, um, I would sing like, uh, I was singing, as I live, it is because I want to feel the rain falling on my face. It is because I would feel when your tears are dripping from your face. I, I live because I want to feel the sun rays as the beauty of the creation that I realized that inside your heart is where the sun is because of your burning love for me. So it's really something that I was singing that um, I live and you live because we are one and you live because I live inside of you. So I really sing that song and I really feel so good about it because I really, really love whenever the Holy Spirit moves in me that I just fall in love with the Lord so much that I sing. I sing and sing and sing and sing. If there's, if there's anything that I want to do all of that time, it would be singing because it really does so good to the soul. I feel so alive. And also, when when I realize about uh, book 2 of Timothy, chapter 1, verse uh, 7, that the Spirit of the Lord is not the spirit of fearfulness, but of power, love, and self-control, or in other translation, sound mind, or sound judgment. It really is true that when, when you know, when you, when you acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit inside of you, you would just be bold, that you would just become persistent, that you would say to yourself that I am, I am powerful, I am filled with so much love. It's, it's so easy to really say those truths because you would believe it because you you cannot deny what the what the soul knows as true is really undeniable it's like your soul will just definitely surrender to the truth because that is the truth and your soul can never deny what is true like you know if if there's such thing as you want to discern something if something is right or something is false I think, you know, it, um, it depends to the maturity of a person about the, the strength of the, the spirit. That's why it's really a great requ requirement for a person who believes in the presence of God in them, especially that it is so necessary to believe that the Holy Spirit is really residing in us. Because when that happens, you would, you would feel so definitely in need of prayer, always it's like for me what i become i become i become more longing or rather i yearn for being prayerful i really yearn to become very prayerful but it's just so happened that sometimes it may seem to be that it's not easy for me to manage my activities that it's not all the time that i can posture myself in prayer but uh, when I feel that I'm singing 
worship songs it would seem that i'm praying and when 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 i would uh, think about thoughts of what could be a very good concern of the best interest of someone or somebody or you know to be concerned about life um yeah when 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 i think about good thoughts especially when the innate desire of how it is to be a concern about life in general it's like uh it's like also a prayer and when you know it's like constant worship actually that's why i i really definitely understand that when a person is really affectionate with the lord you know it's just constant worship oh it's like uh it's like uh, having the luxury even though for me I have so much of the luxury actually because I'm not pressed with time I'm not I'm not employed but I do choose to do my paintings and my songs as a songwriter and as I'm developing my skills on how to do artworks so uh, I really have a very good ample of time to really consider as luxurious for me that it's really a huge blessing that i receive from the lord that even though there's so many things that i'm pursuing that i want to really achieve uh, i really want to be a, a singer songwriter uh, an artist a painter illustration uh, illustrator yeah I, there's so many things that i want to pursue but then i realize that before i really get my success success itself is already in the process so i consider myself successful already even though i don't have the limelight even though i don't have a producer even though i'm not a, a labeled as an artist like for a sony bmg or universal records or mca something like that even though not literally being part of them i you know also warner brothers so it's like it's like uh even though i'm not yet uh, as you know uh, there in the limelight of being able to be heard by many people it feels good already that it is it is really when you understand authenticity and when you are very genuine about yourself that when you are filled with so much love and emotion that you love yourself it's really gonna be effective that you're gonna deliver a message to make other people also feel the love because you know that that's really what i really notice about singers and songwriters and musicians because that's how i understand them when they perform and when they sing and when one person that i really remember is i i, I think i can mention because i remember what he said on a youtube video um yeah mikey bustos mikey bustos was saying on the video that as he is a singer he want to uh, exude love and then okay I, I really get to relate on the song that he has he he has a song called one song at a time and whenever i sing that song it really feels so good i mean i really can relate to it it's, it really resonates to me because one song at a time to save the world it's really something that i also get into my spirit that i want to do the same so it's really good how singers and musicians are really able to speak the universal language of music that they can really speak the heart of many people because that's really true especially as i was saying when it comes to when it comes to worship songs when when i was saying about something when it comes to physical experience i wanted to mention something like when it comes to for me it's really how i think about it because that is how i experience it and that is how i view it yeah it's my perspective that's why i think that way because that is my you know how i feel how i understand and how i see and view things and also when it comes to when it comes to you know physical experience that affects the spirit I was trying to speak about something that really is resonating to me even though you know for example um, when when a singer is in the expression of the genre of rhythm and blues like R&B um, some of the R&B singers that I have heard 
are very uh, expressive in their you know uh, sexual side of their spirit or rather not just side of their spirit but how they are naturally uh, can be considered as having a very strong sensuality and sexuality like uh, you know when it comes to sexual energies so um, when I understand that rhythm and blues because it's really applicable to all musicians actually because you know when when you really have music in your soul and you would express your guitar your piano your drums you know any any form of musical instrument saxophone or flute or harmonica tambourine <laughs> however there's really naturally sexual energy because um it is the physical experience of nature of a person yeah it's it's a nature of a person being being you know sexual but there are just some for, sort of restrictions that we really we really know that if there there are things that are um, not appropriate in the sexual form then you know usually people would really try to avoid to be overly uh, you know doing some expression of something that may not seem to be uh, good with the gesture of respect you know but um, when it comes to natural sexuality it is really undeniable that it is really true with musicians so what I just mean to say is when it comes to R&B and rhythm and blues, like for example, how do I understand Tyrese, Taiga, Asher, or um, Joe, or let's say Cisco, or how, whoever, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to recall who, whoever I'm listening to that are R&B, I'm sorry, I'm not really that good at knowing all R&B artists, but um there's really something that i was saying about with with artists like them you know also to mention beyonce and yeah and yeah r&b artists in general so there is really naturally their expression of their music about delivering a message that can seem to be sensual and sexual especially when they they like also bruno mars he can also be considered as like that because he has a versace on the floor so you know uh, when it comes to uh, to expression of rhythm and blues i really understood that there's something kind with their gesture to speak in such a way that they express their love to the listener in a sexual manner and it's really understandable why they they are like that because i don't consider it something uh, offensive or wrong because from my own point of view if i choose to listen to um music that are a little uh, sexual or very you know it can really be sweet because you know when when people are trying to express their love um there is just the the distinction of how a person would really do such you know um like for example uh, as i was saying like tyrese the song sweet lady he was singing r&b sweet lady sweet lady would you be mine sweet love for a lifetime and in his voice may seem to be uh, also in the mood you know of the flow of sexual expression because it's very it's very um applicable to the melody and to the harmony and it's really something that as i was saying it can really get uh it's it's it can really get in such a way that like marvin gay would say that you know there is such thing as sexual healing so um it's really beneficial as i would really understand it as i would view it that it's really beneficial for the listener because there's something in our spirit that is being you know uh comforted in a manner of sexual um approach like yeah like something like that like r&b music and then <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's like um as i was saying like that 
because for me i really can relate to it because for me i'm not lasting about them um it's really genuine for my point of view that i am not turning out to be lustful so i'm not i'm not um being tempted to sin so they're not really doing anything bad to my soul and i'm just acknowledging the facts that you know um it is really true that people can can naturally have some sexual desires you know because it's really natural for physical experience of having urges um sexual um uh, uh, you know how 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 a person would long for intimacy because it's very natural for people. That's how I. That's why when it comes to to the music that people are delivering their message of such sweetness and sexuality and sensuality, it somehow helps to really comfort a person and make someone feel loved, especially when someone is going through something tough. Because it's really helpful when when people can really hear some sweet message, um, love songs. Yeah, that's why when I would be working on my songs, I, I really have a very sweet song. I mean, I have a very sexual song. It is called So Into You. And whenever I sing that, you know, to be honest, I would be shy that it can be heard by my father or my brothers or my cousins because it's so sexual. But but to be honest about what I understood about my singing of my song, particularly as I would try my best to be true to my genre because I also feel the genre of rhythm and blues in my spirit. So I was realizing that it's really my innate desire that I can comfort someone and I'm not gonna lose anything anyway if I would if I would seem to comfort somebody with my music in such a way that it is expressing my voice or my words in admiration or affection in a little bit of a manner of comfort in a you know in in a little sexual approach because i think it's not it's not really gonna hurt me anyway but it's gonna be a benefit for my spirit that i am able to comfort someone because i think it's okay i mean for for my point of view it's it's just okay because i really i really yearn to give some loving you know to to people because uh, yeah because as i experience music i feel so tremendously comforted by many musicians that I can really even change the lyrics and continuously sing about their songs especially you know there's a particular song that I really love so much with its beat you know Stephen Simmons uh, he has this song for you I really love the the bass you know the the, the melody and I would change the lyrics like uh, I live for you and I Cause Lord you give me life I, I would be changing the lyrics and make it a worship song And I would say that uh, You died so I live And give me eternal life It's really beautiful I really love that song You know I'm really sleepy So sleepy But anyway um, As I was saying um, Yeah it's really beautiful That a person would definitely be just genuine about you know distinction of variety of personalities because it's really beautiful to acknowledge that you know um, we are on earth consist of many people who you know try to create an impact to lives of people especially when we want to figure out how to love everyone because of course everyone needs love you know efforts of people it's really obvious about what is happening that everybody would push efforts to save lives you know that's why it's really obvious that people are really trying to figure out how to give love and show love and become very affectionate so yeah music is really important to really do that work also to comfort lives and give love and and yeah so yeah it's very beautiful there's a moon uh, 
Yeah, there's some moon during daytime. <laughs> and and yes, um, what am I saying about something? Oh uh, yeah, and yes, um, what else should I say? Oh, something also that I would like to share. Um, it's really, it's really beneficial also when you can really um, find certain music that really have good lyrics that when it gets into your mind and when it plays in your mind it's really gonna help your soul to convince your spirit that you are really very healthy sound and filled with so much comfort because of you know the the words that are present in the lyrics especially because for me as i relate to it um i also love stephen Moctezuma, and um you know worship singers there there are so many worship singers that i really really um feel very thankful that i get to have the impartation of how to appreciate myself to fall in love with myself because of the acknowledgement of the worship that I can do to honor God God's presence and you know it's really true that you cannot be separated from the Lord because how you love God is how it would also take an effect on how you would love yourself even though in reality uh, when it comes to the conviction of a person of you know when when you love God and you become selfless it's like you set aside your own concerns it's like as if you're not too concerned about your own welfare because you would attend to others it's really understandable because sometimes it would be considered as selflessness and unconditional however it's also to the point that you would realize that you love yourself because God first loved you and that's really true that God first loves you so you love yourself and what happens is when you love yourself and you realize how God loves you it will just be so easy that it just becomes um, very evident that you can really express love to everything around you and also to everyone around you I mean you would just feel so good about it life you would feel good about yourself you would appreciate little things even a spider like this yeah that spider you know <laughs> I, I would really find amusement in in god's creation on how i would really get the luxury of seeing uh, existing lives around me so it's really true that when you fall in love with God, oh my gosh, you would just really honor everything that He has created and you would realize how beautiful His creation is. Because it's really the grandeur of God's creation that makes you worship the Creator. Because um, that's what God wants. That's what God wants. You, you really respect life. And as you know, as I was reading, as I was reading today, I was trying to grasp okay why is that the dove has a olive leaf on its beak when it returned to the to the ark of noah so i was thinking why why uh in the first place uh, i was trying to recognize the whole story of noah's story in the book of genesis because i know that many kids already know that story but for me i'm trying to to rediscover you know some some important aspects that are mature i, I you know everything can be mature even if a child would